Hello and welcome to a beautiful sunny day in Kunming. Today I'll take you on a tour of the convention center and the nearby culture park. This center has hosted many important international conventions. It's the largest center of its type in southwest China. When I fly my drone and I take a few aerial photographs and videos of this beautiful place. Let's go. So we're now inside the convention center. It's very large inside. It has over 23 specialized these halls. And the total construction size is quite large. It's over a million square meters. Now this exhibition center has hosted very, uh, a lot of the big famous events in the south part of China. Uh, last year one of the main ones was COP15, which is the United Nations Conference on Biological Diversity. Also another one is the Kunming uh, South Asia Expo. This is the Import-Export Commodities Fair. And recently I attended an event here two months ago, that's an International Travel Expo. So very often they hold the big expos here, international ones as well as local ones, such as car events and other local events. Um, yeah, it's a very impressive uh, exposition venue. So last year I bought myself a drone, a DJI drone, which I used to fly around the city and in Yunnan. It's a lot of fun. And the interesting thing about a drone is it gives you a perspective on the city that you wouldn't see with your naked eyes. So what you'll see behind me is uh, the conventions in front of it is a lake. The lake's called Dianche Lake, a freshwater lake that's in the middle of Kunming City. And beyond that you'll see a mountain called the Western Mountain, Xishan, which is almost like a sleeping lady, sleeping beauty. It's called Shui Meiren. On the back side of the convention center over here, you'll see the city center. And in the city center there, obviously that's where I live. Now also what you'll see is a cultural village, two little towers here. After this um, trip to the convention center, next to it they have this little uh, very nice shopping center which I'm walking through at the moment. And I'm on the way to my next destination, which is an afternoon tea, which I'll be having at a beautiful place that has 500 tropical plants on the roof of a nice restaurant. So let's go have a look at this uh, interesting restaurant. So my next stop, I'm quite excited. It's actually called uh, the Deep Nature Station. It's on the rooftop here. And what it is, is a window into the natural uh, universe. It has over 400 different plant varieties that they've planted on the rooftop. So let's go have a look. The Yunnan is the most ecologically diverse uh, province in China. And yeah, they've actually explained the four different eco ecological zones in this province. They're all very unique and very different. So we'll keep going up. Wow, so this is quite amazing. This is on the middle of a roof. They have what you call almost like a tropical rainforest inside here. So you'll see there's ferns, there's uh, something called bajiao, it's a little banana at the top there. And in front of me, they've got these beautiful vines hanging from the roof. And as you go through here, this is a kind of fern. It's a kind of tree fern, I guess. It's quite beautiful. This tree was actually given as a gift to various uh, visiting statesmen. Also, it's very famous in China. Keep looking. Wow. So the next area is actually now a hot uh, climate. This is actually a hot river valley climate. It's called the savannah. And it's about 25 degrees to 43 degree climate, this type of tropical, these type of plants. And the most characteristic is what we recognize as a cactus. So let's keep going. So Yunnan province uh, ranges from 1,000 meters to about 4,800 meters. So the highest altitude is called Alpine. Now this area we're looking at now is called the sub-alpine region. It ranges from 3,000 to about 4,000 meters. And this stuff over here, in Yunnan you have a special monkey called the Yunnan Golden Monkey. And the Yunnan Golden Monkeys eat this plant. And they eat the plants I think at an altitude somewhere between these two regions. And this is called sub-alpine. And over there you have a pine tree of some sorts. And this is I think called an azalea. So this section now plots the evolution of plants from starting in water and then eventually coming onto the land. Lots of ferns and various plants from the dinosaurs era. And as you keep going, you get the plant evolution through the ages, coming down to eventually chilies over here. This is a chili plant. So it's time for a great afternoon tea on a beautiful rooftop terrace with all the plants and flora around. And they've organized me a nice tea pot here. It was a coffee, I think. It looks very nice. Afternoon tea, great view. So after a busy day walking around this cultural park and little village, I've come to one of my favorite restaurants to have a bit of fish hot pot. It's a special uh, Yunnan characteristic fish hot pot. Let's go try it. This is our speciality. It's a, it's a stone pot in the middle with 180 degrees of steam. And then they're gonna put into this pot one of their speciality fishes. It's a fresh lake fish called uh, Pu Tuan Yu. Big piece in the middle and then add a bit of soup. And the total cooking price is about six minutes. Mm. 
Tastes it really rich and creamy. It's almost like a rich and creamy soup broth. And the fish is really good. No bones, no bones in the soup. Oh, it's really beautiful. It's really amazing. Flying a drone at night over the top of this convention center. I'm very lucky, very privileged to be able to do this. Beautiful colors, amazing sights. The night sight is incredible. So it's a great day today, uh, touring this convention center and the uh, shopping center around it. Great dinner, great sights. The rooftop terrace was amazing. So I've enjoyed myself. And I'm gonna say goodbye to you from uh, lovely Kunming, Yunnan, China. See you next time, bye bye. Today I'm taking you on a tour of what they call the Junfan New Law Suwan Commodity Trade Market. This is the largest market of its kind in Southeast China. So they have a particular style and design here celebrating the memory of the Yunnan to Yunnan Railway as well as the China Qi trade. 